Hi, this is Larry with Man Cave Mayhem, and behind me today are my two Honda CT Trail 125s, my 2023 and my wife's 2024. And today, after getting this bike, it kind of inspired me to uh, dig back in the archives here. Um, I purchased this quite a long time ago, an old fuel container retro from the old era of the CTs. So I actually have a newer container that I'll probably use. I'm gonna use this as a mock-up, but I got a newer bracket and a newer container. This bracket I'll put on one of the older bikes, but I might end up trying to figure out a way to mount this. Now, there's not many mounting points on this bike, but I think I can fit, devise a way to make a bracket to make this pretty secure. So we're gonna get started on that by first taking off this toolbox and we'll go from there. If you haven't yet, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. Check us out at Instagram at mancave underscore mayhem. Don't forget to check out my Amazon affiliate link too. I've got a lot of cool things that I've purchased on Amazon. If you guys make a purchase on there, it kind of helps out the channel. It helps me out. I certainly appreciate it. Now let's get on with the video. All right, now you can see there's a solid mounting point right here where the uh, toolbox is mounted. But I'm thinking I could run some type of bracket down and then angle it off to these two points here. And if I could do that, weld it and make it out of steel, not too crazy heavy, but solid enough to hold that bottle, it'd be kind of cool. So we'll see how that works. Now this is an original CT90 fender mounting bracket. It probably went around there. I've already checked too. It's not wide enough to go around that fender, but yeah. But this is the two points where this strap mounts, and I can show you. That sits like that. And the strap goes, the, the bracket that holds the tank on goes something like that, if you can see that. So that's kind of what I need to replicate in a bracket that goes down there. So we're gonna see what we got out in the metal pile and see if we can make this happen. We'll give it a try and see. Anyhow, let's get on with it. All right, so I've got a piece of scrap steel here that I'm gonna use. And uh, I've got the tool kit off. The unnecessary tool kit is in my back pouch here, so I still have it. And we're gonna mount that right there. So I'm gonna take another piece of this. It's pretty heavy, so I might lighten it up a bit, but we're gonna run a T across there, weld that. And then we'll drill the holes for that. And that'll be the bracket that holds the container, holds the fuel container. So that'll go on there like that. This is an older bracket that I have. I'm just using it as a pattern, but that'll, I'll be able to adjust that accordingly. But right now I need another piece of this to run across as a T or maybe even a smaller piece of small stock to put across her to get that um, to where it can bolt on. So that's what I'm doing. Now. All right, all right. Now we're going to put these two pieces together. We're gonna to weld them right here and then we'll put the two holes in that. And then this bracket will mount. this on top of that those two bolts will hold that bracket on and then i may may run a support piece back to the license plate frame but i'm not sure on that yet all right now let's get this thing welded Gotta get some b-roll So now we've got this welded. Not the prettiest thing in the world. You can see my welds aren't great, but a flat disc hides a lot of that, which is good. And this isn't gonna be seen in. So now I've got this bracket set up. It's kind of heavy, but it'll work. Now we need to put holes in it for this and holes in it to mount it. So we're gonna do the mounting holes first. 
Let's get that. So now I'm just going to take this box and use it as a pattern to drill the holes. All right, okay. now we got the bracket drilled and cleaned up and we've mounted it and it looks pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and paint that bad boy next. But yeah, it's going to go just like that. Not much different than the ones you buy on eBay for $85. Oh yeah, we got to throw some primer on this little self-etching primer. Make it look nice and pretty before we put a nice coat of black paint on it. We're just waiting on this bracket to dry and then we'll mount that bracket up. Then I'm going to go back to my house because I'm at Andrews right now and I will get the auxiliary fuel container, which I have a brand new auxiliary fuel container, which is really rare. I, I bought it probably three or four years ago and it was expensive as a couple hundred bucks at the time. Now they go for like 500 bucks. So anyhow, I got that. It's brand new. It'll look really nice on the bike and has keys and everything to lock it up so pretty nice setup i'll show that to you when we get back to my house i'm probably rushing it but uh i got this all set up it's not quite cured and dry but i've got also a little toolbox liner on the back of it to act as some padding between the frame and this bracket so we're gonna go ahead and put this bracket on now and then when i get home we'll mount the can all right this is how this bad boy is mounted it's really solid it's not going anywhere. I was thinking about running a brace from here to there, but it would kind of clutter it up and not make it look as clean. Wouldn't look as factory. So once we get that can on there, it's going to look totally factory. It'll kind of be a throwback, a retro throwback to the original. So uh, we'll fast forward to my house and I'll show you how it looks. So this is the can I'm going to put on there. It's new old stock, I guess. I bought this. I don't know, it was probably four years ago, and I was able to get it. I think I paid $200 for the can. I thought, man, that's expensive. It, it was actually in a Honda bag and everything, and same with this, uh, the uh, clamp and, and holder for it. All this is new, and same with the keys, they're brand new. So I don't know if they were from Posty Bikes from you know, uh, Australia or what, but anyhow, I know they're not available anymore and so i was able to get this and i had it on my other ct 110 but i thought it'd be more appropriate to have it on this 125 here so now i just got to figure out what bolts i want to use to mount to this bracket so we're going to go ahead and get that set up and i'm going to mount this thing up and i'll show you the finished product and you guys can tell me what you think uh, if you think it was dumb to do this i just think it looks a lot better than some big plastic crazy giant gas can uh you know i'm sure those are more functional but i just wanted the bike to look a little retro and so that's what we're working on right now we'll get that set up and i'll show that to you all right i found some hardware that's going to work so we're going to go ahead and get this thing mounted up i cleaned it up this thing's brand new so it's not going to look too bad i think it'll be really nice on this bike it's going to really make it All right, well, I've got to say this thing came out fantastic. It looks factory. It looks like it belongs with this bike. It doesn't stand out like a sore thumb like some of these other gas containers. And it kind of kicks you back to the old school era of these bikes. So I'm real happy with the way it came out. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. If you think that is what Honda should do, if they should bring back that old school uh, reserve gas can or not it's it's definitely a cool look really looks kind of military and uh, it, it it actually blends in really well with the bike doesn't stand out like a sore thumb like I said before and um, sure is a lot more useful than that little plastic toolkit that they include but super nice 
real happy. Didn't take too long to get her done. And again, it looks like it's factory. Very solid, not gonna go anywhere. And uh, just real pleased with the results. All right, that's gonna about wrap it up for this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. It was, uh, it was actually a really cool little project and it's something that anybody can do if you have a little bit of welding skills. You could probably actually do it out of one piece of steel um, and probably wouldn't even need to weld. So uh, I, I welded it because I just wanted to, uh, you know, I used what I had, so. But <clears throat> the, the trouble you'll have is finding those gas cans. Those gas cans are not easy to find and when you do find them, they're very expensive. But super cool, super fun. If you haven't yet, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. Check us out at Instagram at mancave underscore mayhem. Check out my affiliate link uh, for Amazon. If you buy something off my store, it helps me out, helps the channel out. And just remember folks, I'm just a man in a cave causing mayhem. Thanks again for watching.